You know what that means? Snake season. That watercolor's perfect. Big flow going through, so target little eddies and things. But if there's any bass in this stretch, they're gonna they're gonna eat today. Any little sort of thing like that. I think it's uh are you okay day this week? And uh, sometimes blokes just need to do what I'm doing now. You just need to have a little bit of fun. Oh, I've got to apologise too, guys. The, uh, I grabbed the wrong reel. Hear that? Roll a bearing. Bail. It's on the bail arm, that bearing there. Squeaky, then you're gonna have to deal with it. I don't know what they're gonna feed on today. Like, I always like flicking frogs and things. What's that? But if they, if there is bass here, we'll get them. We'll get them on something. Fair bit of flow so I've sort of got to target those snags and anything they can hang on. Oh it's a beautiful day. It's about 23, 24 degrees. Just enough for the snakes to be out. Come on. I know there's fish in this system but so far we've only caught them in holes. So it doesn't sort of this area here is more what we call the skinnies. But there's little eddies and things in these skinnies as well, so there's plenty of room for them. And there's one hole further up, so if they are in the holes, we'll have a go at them at there. Off the camera goes until I get a hook up. Ha <laughs> ha. He hits Mark just there. You know when I said I'll turn this camera off until we get a hook up? Well there it is. How cool is that? Now this is the oh, he's a nice fish. This is the um chase bait frog. Whoa. It's, it's like the Z-Man frog, same sort of right. Oh he's got some weight in him. Look at that for a fish. See how you can tell they're my fish, see the, the broken scars, uh, the dorsal fin? That's awesome, man. Didn't take long at all. I should have left the camera running, but I just wasn't sure. I should have known. Who smashed that frog? I oh, caught him again. The best thing about that was it was an absolutely ripping retrieve. Bang! So we should get plenty, plenty more like him. See you, mate. <laughs> so I'll turn the camera off until I get a hook up. It just looked too good. And this is a classic day. This is a great day to do a video of a difference because this type of lure see how I bounced it and the bounce like he hit there at that speed the bounce is the trigger I think we'll get a few though if that's so easy as soon as I get up a bit more we'll get more <laughs> that was fun yeah this uh, style of fishing is a real westy thing you know, aggressive hunting and to uh, get out here and be able to do this 
can't see no one hitting there. I know there'll be more in there. But I'm going to go up to the next hole. There's a heap. Look, if i got one there, I'll get a stack more. You watch. You watch. They'll be everywhere. And once again, he was silver. Look, if you're catching them and they're dark, like black, blackish sort of bass, that basically means they've been in here all year. And uh, if you get them silver, they're the ones that have come in. They're the schools. Took about three casts to trigger that one. Wherever you got this fast water and she oaks, you have little undercuts. And bass will sit in this fast water in those undercuts waiting for stuff to swim through. It's quite explosive when you get it right. Suicide's painless. There's got to be a fish here. Oh, yeah. Like I said, ah, good fish. Now that's the first one I've dropped on this. Um, I've used it a couple times now. That's the first one I've actually dropped on the chase bait frog. Apart from that, it's had a pretty good hookup. And you can see why I like using the frog, it's that. <sighs> see if he's got a mate. I'll get that one later. Yeah. You just knew there had to be one there, eh? <laughs> Camera does my head in. There's a technique I use down here that's absolutely deadly, deadly, deadly. And you never hear anyone talk about it or use it. I, I just call it the bounce cast. You hear people talk about skipping lures, you know, like skip cast into, into bushes and things. This isn't a skip cast, this is a bounce, like a, I treat the lure like a tennis ball. And it causes a reaction like you've never, never seen. Like, oh, that didn't bounce very far. The more aggressive I get it, Get up here so I can start swinging it. If there's bass in the area, this drives them wild. It's that sound of that slap in the top. I'll keep bashing this whole hole like this. So you just bounce it. Do, do. Any minute now, one of these cars is going to go. Doo. I would think there would be one there. Yeah, <laughs> missed another one.
he didn't get, get that at all. There's another soccer ball. I've seen three soccer balls so far. I went to buy Benny a cricket bat the other day and soccer balls are like 70, 80 bucks each. So we know that he's there. That one did not get the hooks in, so I'll come back and I can get him now if I wanted to, like a switch, but I don't want to. I want to keep chasing the frog. So they just come out of nothing, eh? Wasn't that big, that one. Dang. What I love most about frog fishing is this. Standing back up here. They don't have a clue I'm here. All they see is the frog. Just, before I get down on that waterline, I walk through and I just look for gaps in the trees. I just punch them through. Like there. Three explosions and only landed one. But I have been using this rubber for a while and um, the hookup rate's been pretty good. As long as you keep them moving. So far, every, and even the ones I missed, you could see on the footage how they just swallowed it. one of these in. That's better. Adamant that bounces the reaction bite. Yeah, it's a good flood when your car ends up there, eh? <laughs> Alright, I won't go right up to that edge from here well they don't know I'm here I've got this feeling of going off the surface but at the same time I think the there's another soccer ball that's the fourth whoa that's the fourth soccer ball I found There's one there, but that's a crap one. I found four good level ones. I was just so interested if this fish, when I come back on this, because I was, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I had three good, three good fish. I only landed one. And I'm just fishing too much good water. One there, one hit, and that's it. But he's there, though. We'll come back and get him too later. All right, uh, the last well, I've drawn four bass landed the first one, so I'm putting a little spinner on just to see. They're a bit more angry to that. Nope. Really, I thought he would have gone that.
Wow. Now he only just lipped that lure. Huh. What can I make him bite with? Just ran my spinner right through everything and um, not one bite. Another soccer ball. <coughs> ah, and I and I and I dropped him. <sighs> well that's the one I dropped a minute ago. Dropped him again. Uh, I turned the camera off because of the phone. Just dropped another one. Just went out of that log there. Oh, he hit again. Oh, and again. Little one. So I had quality fish uh, go on the surface lure, but that was just a tiny one. So there's a school there. Mm. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought was going to be the problem here. Is um, I miss those fish with surface. Now I'll come back to get them with this. I have such tiny little bass coming out for it. It's not funny. Anyway, I've just shortened that plastic. And I'll probably won't get another bite. I missed. Thank you. Oh, some monster eel just cruising through there right now. Where do you go? Who's a big one? Oh, sorry, mate. You're the silly one that got caught. Oh, there he is. We'll not be targeting him today. It's a school of these little bass here. All right, we dropped one here. It wasn't a bad one either. God, and I got a little one. See how I was missing them when I first put the spinner on? And uh, you'll see that I chopped the, the plastic down. And that's the rule number one about soft plastic fishing is there is no rules. So if the hook's too, too small, just chop it down. There was a good one in here, so the spinners aren't getting me, they're not drawing the big fish. I absolutely love these creeks and I love the quirkiness of it. There's more coconut. All right, you've got to get the sea, buddy. So I'm going to throw you in there. Make sure you get the sea. Someone went to all the effort to uh, put you in there. Mate, keep clicking up on the bank, eh? <laughs> that was fun. If you break a branch off one of these flame trees or coral trees, they just regrow in the ground. Well, look at that. That's a classic example. That bit of dead wood there is just turned into another tree. Oh, he's giving a hard pot. Yeah, just go through a few things. I, I could have put the, this beetle spin on straight away. But by putting the frog on, I've got the cover so much water that where fish just lashed up at that frog. Um, it does, there's not a great deal of fish in the system right now. So wh wherever fish lashed up at that frog, I've gone back and, and caught, the, caught fish with the spinner. But uh, if I had to just use the spinner, I would have fished a lot slower. I probably wouldn't have covered as much water and uh, these little guys, I would have missed a few. 
Well, we got two of the three that I dropped. We, we went back and caught them. There's a beastie looking head on that. These are tough, tough fish. Yeah, so I got two out of the three that I dropped, plus I picked up another, I don't know, three or four little ones. Just walking through here with a spinner now. Surface is shut completely down. So there you have it. Another little bass video. And it's only going to get better and better and better, this fishing. So it's good to see that in probably, what, about six, less than a kilometre, half a kilometre stretch, we've got five, six, seven, eight, eight little bass. So that's not too bad. And uh, unfortunately for the spin of the other side of it is the frog drew a lot bigger fish out. The ones I've been catching aren't that big since I've put this on. Yeah, I just worked. All that was surface, never got a bite. I've just come back with a spin of the check, never got a bite. Uh, I know I keep saying it. There's no rules when it comes to bass fishing. And as a bass fisherman, the worst thing you can do as a bass fisherman is say, bass don't do that. Never say that because you'll be proven wrong down the track. One day you'll come around a corner and there's the bass doing what you reckon they don't do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See you on the next one.